Dr. Davis here from South Georgia Spine and Joint Center, once again discussing the condition of knee pain. Now, as far as knee pain goes, there are so many factors that go into knee pain when it comes to biomechanics of the body, age, hereditary conditions, uh, wear and tear on the knee, athletic injuries. There's so many things that fit in that box. But at South Georgia Spine and Joint Center, obviously we're known for our medical integration and our chiropractic and physical therapy and what the medical team can do. But one of our main conditions that we're most successful with and that people kind of talk about all over towns around South Georgia is what we can do for their knees. And when we think about uh, the knee conditions that we treat, you know, there's a lot of people out there that suffer from conditions like bone on bone conditions, chronic arthritis, meniscus tears, things like that. Things where the joint has just deteriorated over time. And there's reasons why that happens. So sit back and listen to some of the science and research of why the knee does what it does and how South Georgia Spine and Joint can get you out of pain. So for almost two decades, treating athletes in the past and seeing uh, different presentations of the knee and working with geriatric patients and things like that, it's easy to see how the knee gets deteriorated over time. And like I said, there's many factors. So some of the main factors that you can you can find, you know, just even on the internet, is things like age. Obviously, age is a process of degeneration. Hereditary conditions that sometimes people can't control. Gender, a lot of times females might be more prone to having degeneration in the knee, and it probably has something to do with the way the hips are wide, and those femur bones come down and puts probably a little more stress on that knee over time. All right, athletic injuries, any past injuries you've had in the past can set the tone for degenerative changes of the knee, pretty much, the cartilage and all the surrounding tissue. So those are all factors that go into play, but one of the most important ones, the ones that you see often, is that repetitive stress over time. So a lot of times you'll see it in runners. Sometimes you'll see it just in someone who's in their 60s, 70s, from working all their lives, working out, you know, out in the field, working construction, you know, standing all day at work, doing things on concrete, you know, just over time degeneration overall. And what we're really talking about is osteoarthritis, all right? So you need to determine obviously the difference between like rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis, but you know, with rheumatoid, that's a whole autoimmune problem. And that's for a different discussion. But with osteoarthritis, the key here is what we call more bone being laid down, so to speak. You get an inflammatory response and you start to get spurs and things that come off the knee. You start to get compression of the knee space, bone on bone type conditions. Uh, and those are the things that causes pain over time. So let me give you the, the, the research and science behind how this happens and kind of paint a picture for you. Because most people just think, oh, it just kind of happened, I'm, un I'm unlucky. But let me give you an example. So we have the knee, all right? And you have these bones that connect to the knee. So let's say this is what's called my tibia. This is where the foot is. So you have the foot and you got that leg bone down here, so to speak. And then coming from your hip down, you got the big femur bone, okay? So those two bones kind of meet together just like this. And that's what creates the knee, all right? So what we're, we think the knee does is we think it kind of flexes like this. You know, as we walk, we get that flexion and extension at the knee. And that is true. But from a functional biomechanic standpoint, what you don't see is where the problems lie. And you're supposed to also get good frontal plane motion, and you actually get slight rotational shearing every time you do things, all right? So in between that knee, you got all the cushions of the meniscus, you got all these little ligaments that come down, ACL, MCL, lateral, collateral ligament, everything that comes down that kind of keeps the knee in place to be able to do what it's supposed to do. However, almost all knee problems start at a foot and hip problem. I'll say that again. Almost all knee conditions begin as a foot and hip problem, and here's why. 
because you got these two bones meeting, you got this tibia bone that goes down to the foot. So whatever the foot does or doesn't do right is gonna make sure that this tibia bone does or doesn't do it as well, all right? Anything happening at the hip or the pelvis will ensure that the femur doesn't load a certain way and causes problems at the knee. So a lot of times we'll see pain at the knee, but the problem is actually in the hip and the foot. You see how that works? So think of it this way. Problem is that the hip and foot and the knee is trapped in the middle. So now you get all these problems at the knees, but the problem is in the hip and the foot. So a lot of times we'll rehab the knee. Oh, you have a bad knee. Wrong. You have a bad hip and a bad foot, which is causing tissue stress, inflammation at the knee, and it starts off as a dysfunctional pattern. This could be when you're in your 20s and 30s. Now, all of a sudden, you never solve that problem. You've been icing the knee and just doing things and trying to stretch out, but you're not solving the pelvic and foot problem. So now, over decades and over years, you're continuously getting tissue stress and inflammation, tissue stress and inflammation, tissue stress, inflammation. Now you start getting deterioration of that knee joint. So what happens is the body lays down more bone and that's what's caused, that's what's called osteoarthritis. That's how it works. All that connective tissue in there and all that cushioning starts to deteriorate and now you start getting bone on bone conditions and that creates even more inflammation and more stress. Then you start to not be able to walk. So now I can't walk well. So I can't enjoy the things in life that I wanna do with my kids, my grandkids, my family. I can't get to work and make money. I'm getting debilitated. So now what I gotta do is I gotta walk a little bit different, right? So I'm gonna compensate on the other side. If my right knee hurts, I'm gonna walk on that left side, right? Here we go. Now that pelvis says, hey, wait a second. You're not loading me properly. So I'm gonna hike up on this side and cause that SI joint to hurt. Well now, that sciatic nerve goes right behind some of the muscles right off the SI joint. So now I'm starting to get sciatic pain. Oh, now my back hurts. Now I'm getting radiating pain down the legs. Or, in another respect, I compensate. Now I'm getting foot pain. So I get pain on top of my foot. I'm getting plantar fasciitis underneath my foot where the arch is, and now it's really hard to walk. And this is all a chain reaction of a dysfunction that was never solved decades ago. You see how that works? So with osteoarthritis, and like I said, there's a million conditions we can talk about. Chondromalacia, you know, different tears, meniscus problems, all, you know, bursitis, there's a lot here. And we can discuss some of those conditions in later posts. But for osteoarthritis, you know, being in your late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, when you're dealing with these debilitating uh, conditions of osteoarthritis and the knee is taking a hit, it's from those patterns where there was a foot and hip problem, knees trapped in the middle, knee took the hit, and over time you're getting degeneration and more tissue stress and more inflammation, all right? Now at South Georgia Spine and Joint, we have specific techniques that work brilliantly for these problems, okay? And you've probably heard, I need a knee replacement. You know, I've had a doctor say, there's no other thing I need to do, I know I need a knee replacement. And although that may be true for certain instances, more times than none, there's a lot of things you can try and do before you do something like that. So let's first take a look at, you know, what is an arthritic knee really look like maybe on an x-ray? And then discuss how our treatments can get you out of pain and get you living your life again. This is a pretty classical look at what an arthritic knee kind of starts to do. So as we discussed before, when you're getting inefficient movement patterns at the hip and the foot, over time the knee's gonna take that hit. And you're gonna start to see a shift in this bone here. And you can see these little disc spaces here, these spaces that should be through the knee starting to compress more, all right? And that's a classic presentation of an arthritic knee that's starting, all right? So you can clearly see how you're losing joint space and you're gonna to start to get tissue stress and inflammation at that area. Now look at this. 
This is a much more progressed arthritic knee. And you can clearly see almost no joint space whatsoever. All right? This person hurts. There's no question. They're not able to do the things they want to do. And as you can see, all these little things kind of sticking out. That's where more, more bone is being created. Your body thinks and knows there's a problem. So it creates more bone and there's more tissue stress and more inflammation. And this is kind of what it looks like. So when people see this presentation at a, you know, a, a traditional doctor's office, you'll see stuff like, yes, you need a knee replacement, but that's not always the case, all right? There's a ton of things you can do before you actually do a surgical procedure that, that that's that invasive for a condition like this. So let's discuss that and give you a better idea of some of the solutions you can do for this alternative knee. If you get to a point where you're gonna go get surgery for a knee, osteoarthritis, bone on bone conditions, chronic arthritis, you need to ask yourself this. When you walk into that operating room and they're laying you down, they're getting ready to go, you need to say, hey look, I literally tried every non-invasive, non-surgical thing that I could possibly do, that insurance paid for, that I can afford, that I can get to wherever the location. Can you honestly walk into that surgical procedure and say, look, I've done every single thing that I possibly can try, non-invasive, non-surgical, to help my knee osteoarthritis condition? If the answer is yes, then maybe surgery is the option. But the answer is no, and it typically is with most people, you have done yourself and the knee a major disservice, okay? And you can look in all the research. When you get knee uh, replacement surgeries, yeah, initially it kind of makes it a little more stable, so to speak, you know, you're not getting that bone on bone, but over time, and you probably know people that have had these surgeries, over time can create more damage with more arthritis because it's not your normal presentation of what God gave us in the knee, all right? The biomechanics are way different. You're not going to get those motions we discussed with the turning and the loading the way the knee's supposed to happen. So now it's very stiff and you're really only getting this motion. You're not going to get all those other motions. So a lot of people feel it more in the back and in the foot even after these surgeries. So to me, it's a no-brainer to try something non-invasive, non-surgical that's gonna help the knee. So at South Georgia Spine and Joint, we are recognized for this, okay? And the first thing I'll talk about is our medical team. They are absolutely phenomenal at assessing and understanding osteoarthritis, chronic knee conditions. And they have a ton of procedures they can do with different combinations for different people, you know, to solve these pain problems. All right, things that can rebuild the tissue. That's one of the biggest things. You need to rebuild that cushion. If you're getting bone on bone, there's ways you can get that, you know, cellular tissue to grow back and, and get more, you know, cushioning in that space. And that helps the biomechanics greatly. We can downregulate the information, uh, you know, get you out of pain, get a little nerve block in there near the, uh, you know, around the knee area to downregulate that pain. There's different combinations for different people depending on the presentation. And our medical team is excellent at determining what you need. Now, one of the biggest uh, mistakes people make, and I've talked to a lot of people that had certain procedures done on the knee that are non-invasive, non-surgical, what their mistake was is they didn't do physical therapy and chiropractic with it. And we talk about medical integration all the time because that's what we do here. So think of it this way. If you're recreating tissue that's lost in the knee and you're getting that space back now and you're getting cushioning, if we know the problems of the knee start in the, in the foot or the hip, physical therapy is brilliant at doing what they need to do at the foot and the hip and all the muscles that attach into the knee and all the muscles that are getting the foot to move and all the muscles that, that make the hip work better. When they do that with those treatments of rebuilding tissue and down or down-regulating inflammation, 
that's the key to becoming resilient. We've talked about that a million times. Just doing treatments for the knee may not solve your problem, and people do that all the time. Oh, I've seen this medical doctor, I've done these treatments for the knee, and I'm getting minimally better. Well, you're not solving that overall dysfunction, which is hip and foot, and the knee's trapped in the middle. So you're getting that cushion back, but you gotta retrain that cushion and that neurological system to say, hey, I need to move this way at the joints of the foot. I need to move this way at the hip. I need that femur and that tibia to move perfectly to get that loading we want so I'm not getting tissue stress and tissue inflammation. You see how that works? And then adding chiropractic in, we've talked about that a million times, and that's stabilizing the joints. You need to stabilize that pelvis, stabilize that hip. Make sure that pelvis isn't raising up. Get that guy to realign. Make sure you're not getting stress at the SI joint so you don't compensate at the knee. So putting all this together, being medically integrated, is really the only way you can help these conditions and prevent these surgeries, all right? Everyone's presentation is different. Everyone has problems, but I see it too often. People are walking in to our facility. They never tried everything together and they're living literally in hell. I can't walk. I can't enjoy my family. I can't enjoy my life. I can't even go shopping. I can't pick up my kids, all right? This is no way to live. And getting the surgery isn't always the answer. So if you're living in this pain, and it's very prevalent out there. You know, you got chronic arthritis, you got bone on bone conditions, you're not getting anywhere. Chances are, once again, you've never tried medically integrated approach to solve the cushioning problem and downregulate the inflammation, to realign the pelvis and get that stable, to get the muscles of the hip and the foot to move synergistically and fire up and move a certain way to protect the knee. These are all the things that need to happen to get this problem solved and keep you out of that operating room. So if you're dealing with these conditions, once again, we got three locations in South Georgia. We service South Georgia and North Florida. If there's issues with your knee and you've been told, hey, you definitely need a knee replacement surgery, come see us. We have solutions for everyone. We've helped hundreds of people delay surgeries, if not prevent them altogether. There's solutions out there. You just gotta take that first step. Give us a call. There's no question we have a solution for you. Dr. Davis from South Georgia Spine and Joint. And just remember, don't just manipulate, integrate.